Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a very unusual weather pattern that's developing in the United States right now and this is going to change the weather entirely as we go into the first couple of weeks of February because winter is essentially taking a hiatus we're actually going to be dealing with more of spring-like weather across much of the United States but I do have some intel on when winter will be returning and we're going to break that down for you in this forecast in addition to the showers and storms that'll be rumbling across much of the country as we go into the weekend and as well as early next week. But let's begin first with what's happening across the United States right now. And we'll begin with the Northeast. And this is really the only area that we have really any active weather right now in the United States. And it's really not even that active. We have a little bit of some snow showers, maybe a little bit of light rain across parts of the upper Midwest back into Southern Canada. There's also some cloud cover stretching from the Ohio Valley back into the Northeast along with the still little bit of snow on the ground but overall nothing really crazy here across the east coast it is quite dry right now and we are definitely going to start to notice that more over the next 24 to 48 hours and then back over on the west coast this is really the area that is going to be the most active across the country this work week but as we go into the weekend i do think weather will start to ramp back more up across areas in the southern plains and the southeast and we'll be breaking that down for you here in this forecast so make sure you stay tuned now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next couple of weeks and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream because things are going to get very interesting and this is a very unusual weather pattern that we're going to be dealing with across the country and it all begins with what we're seeing right now we have an omega block pattern that is currently in place across the west coast of the united states on the flip side of things we have some very weak troughing features that are located back over here on the northeast and east coast of the united states but this isn't really anything that big of a deal because most of that activity has already shifted offshore we saw a little bit of some wintry weather over the weekend in areas like New York and back into southern New England but overall that's moving out and really the big talk over this week will be this omega block pattern because what this is going to basically do is act like a wall this is going to prevent a lot of the storms that are currently ramping up in the Pacific Ocean from entering into the United States and by the way we have a very strong jet stream right now back over in the Pacific Ocean so that would really be able to help alleviate all the storms that are going to be riding right into the west coast of the United States but the the big problem will be this right here this big ridge that we're gonna have in place across the Great Plains and as well as back through the Rocky Mountains but what this will also allow for is a little bit more of an increased amount of activity back over in the Northeast with some fairly weak disturbances we'll see some showers perhaps even some snow across areas in the Midwest the Ohio Valley and the Northeast but it's not gonna be much this week and by the way this is like Tuesday so overall the next couple of days is really what I'd be talking about here once we go into Wednesday and Thursday things dry out across much of the East coast eventually this omega block pattern starts to shift to the east and we're going to be seeing that across the great plains meanwhile some larger storm activity will start to ride from west to east along that jet stream going toward the west coast of the united states and by the weekend things should really ramp up there across the west coast ridging stays in place across much of the united states so dry and warm weather will continue as we go into the weekend and eventually by early next week i do think that this big wall that we're gonna have in place starts to break break and once that breaks we're going to start to see a very active middle and end of february most likely here across the united states because right now this wall that we have right now is going to really prevent a lot of the storm activity through the first week of february but by the second and third week of february i do think things start to ramp up so what does this exactly look like on the future radar well i'm going to show you at least the broad spectrum of things across the entire north america continent then i'll show you more of a closer view of things but notice this this is what we're talking about in the pacific ocean are these strong storms and these are all associated with the atmospheric river event and this is going to continue through the work week into the weekend wednesday we'll have one storm impacting the west coast of the united states all the way through thursday that energy will get through parts of the rocky mountains and into the southern tier of the united states by the weekend i'll show you more on that here in a second and by the weekend and into early the following week we'll have more storm activity there right along the west coast of the united states and by the way this will dump a ton of much needed rainfall to much of the west coast of the united states so some very very good news for sure with that. Now this is what the future radar looks like closer to home across the entire lower 48. Notice this as we go into tomorrow. We'll be dealing with some light snow across parts of the Ohio Valley back through southern Canada. Overall nothing too concerning here. It's going to be very light in activity. This will actually move into the southeast and east coast in areas like Virginia could get in a little bit of snowfall as we go into really late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But overall most of this should remain as rain activity. Notice across much of the Great Plains 
and as well as the northeast areas like those areas will be staying dry all the way through wednesday and the thursday by thursday and friday maybe a little bit of a wintry weather disturbance back over in the new england area but overall this will not bring too many impacts the temperatures will actually drop a bit from this and we'll be talking about this later in the forecast and then once we go into friday and saturday we'll have to watch a band of energy coming off the rocky mountains this will allow for some showers and thunderstorms from the central and southern plains eastward so if you're anywhere in the central and southern plains back through the southeast be mindful of this going into the weekend this is friday night so showers and storms ramping up across areas like texas and oklahoma we actually could get some isolated severe weather out of this but i'm not really that concerned right now for any sort of widespread severe weather event once we go to saturday afternoon showers and storms continue anywhere from nebraska back in areas like louisiana notice back up in montana many areas will be dealing with snow on the western side of the state but because of how warm this weather pattern is areas like central and eastern montana will be purely rain out of this event so definitely not something you see quite often especially in early february once we go into sunday morning those showers and storms will move into florida and as well as back through areas like georgia and alabama again i would not be surprised if we get maybe some sort of localized tornado threat to ramp up with that back down in the southeast by sunday by monday this low pressure system moves to the east we start to dry out once again and overall not really looking at any major winter storms over the next several days we might see something by the end of next week so sometime during the second week of february but right now that looks to be quite uncertain at this time now before i show you the temperature trends i just want to mention if you're over on the west coast of the united states specifically in california over the next five days rainfall totals will range anywhere from one to three inches of rain we will see a few isolated spots near five inches then we'll be dealing with another a little band of storm activity early next week this is the current estimates from the european model but i do think it's too early to put an exact number on this across the entire state so stay tuned this is entirely a possibility but i do think it's too early to tell what exactly will happen out of that now the temperatures over the next couple of weeks well there's really no signs of winter returning i've seen a lot of people saying winter's coming back to the united states it's really not it's actually going to be quite above average for the entire country for the rest of this week and as well as in the next week we're really not going to have any winter quote-unquote returning over the next week to week and a half perhaps by mid-february once the weather pattern gets a little bit more shaky i think we could see that return by then but for right now above average temperatures seem likely across much of the united states the only exception to be the west coast and as well as back through the southeast which those areas yes you're going to be dealing with some sort of feeling of winter but for the remainder of the country we are not going to be seeing quote-unquote winter returning over the next seven to ten days in terms of the actual temperatures this is tomorrow afternoon again notice really close to record breaking temperatures even up in canada where it's going to be very warm this tr trend will continue all the way through the rest of this week by the weekend we'll be dealing with some sort of cold blast in the northeast does not look to be anything too too crazy but we could see some temperatures drop below zero in northern new england by early next week and those temperatures will still stay on track to perhaps be near record breaking across parts of the central plains even by next week this is next wednesday notice high temperatures could still be in the 50s and perhaps 60s by then thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already